Hey Christian, I come to you today in one cut and hopefully with fixed mic issues after the atrocity that was my last video. I'm probably going to ramble on for a bit about quite a few things and finally settle on some obscure topic that nobody cares about and that the editing won't fix my breaths or make it look anything like your amazing video last weekend. Um, I'm going to try to stick to something that has to relate with music, just so my background props aren't wasted. But other than that, it doesn't really matter. There's a few things that crossed my head when I was thinking about making this video, and it was like, oh, I, I've been singing for six hours because nobody else is in the house right now, and oh, look at this, now I'm playing with my guitar for another three, and... It's getting later and later, and I've been up since 3 in the morning today. And I had this sudden realization that I was filling out some sort of trope you see in movies. This sort of obsessed artist, like a whiplash. There's a drummer, he's obsessed with drumming and for jazz, and it's his only purpose in life. And he finally gets in this jazz van, and the coordinator's a dick and he pushes him and pushes him and pushes him and finally he becomes that guy's Charlie Parker. Now it's not that simple, I mean he destroys his life to do this. But I think that's part of the anatomy of an obsessed artist. I think that musicians or dancers, if you've ever seen Black Swan or painters in a way they they destroy their old self to become what their art is with with a lot of artists what that is is their pain i don't know it's just been an idea that's been running through my head quite a bit this idea that you have to destroy your last self to become your current self it's really a crazy concept if you think about it but in a way, it's what happens in music. I don't know if you've ever had this sort of thing with any sort of art or obsession you've had, but it, it begins to take over your life, and it's what you focus on, and then suddenly it's your source of confidence. Hey, I'm good at that. Maybe I could ask this girl out, or hey, I'm good at that. I should ask for a raise, or hey, I'm good at that. Now I'm going to stop eating chips so I'm not so fat. But in a lot of ways, that's not a good thing. It's almost like a crutch, like an antidepressant or something to stave off anxiety attacks. It's just, you need it, and you need to create it. And in a lot of things, we give music the soul, like it has an identity, when really it's just your identity taking on a new form. Just like your identity takes on a new form as you become an obsessed artist. Maybe you don't care too much about all of that, and maybe you've never had those feelings before, but that's what the video today is about. See you in another life, brother.